Hungarian plum dumplings. My childhood favorite takes me right back to my childhood. But you know, today I start thinking about the amount of sugar in there because everyone is talking about sugar. We know that uh, there was a paper released by the Journal of the American Medical Association about how the sugar industry tried to cover up the link between sugar and heart disease and how we should be eating less. But well, we're eating a lot of sugar. Believe it or not, every day the average North American eats about this much sugar that's between 95 and 100 grams of added sugar we're talking about. How much should we be eating? Well, we should be eating this much, about six of these cubes. That's it. Well, where is all that sugar coming from? Let me give you some examples. You like ketchup? Well, every time you take a spoonful of ketchup, that's one sugar cube in there. Hamburger buns? Yep, they contain sugar. It's about one cube in there. And want to have a couple of cookies? Well, you're eating about three sugar cubes when you do that. But nothing there compares to what you would get in a soft drink. Now, I'm not picking on Coke. It's just representative of any soft drink. How much sugar is there in there? There we go. About 11 cubes. And it's what we call hidden sugar because it's dissolved. You don't see it. Now, the truth is that orange juice, this amount of orange juice would also contain the same amount of sugar. But here, at least you're getting some vitamins and you're getting some minerals. So this is why I was concerned when I sat down to my uh, plum balls. And uh, I did a little calculation on, on the recipe. How much is in there? Well, you know what? Only about one. So I can afford to eat it, which means uh, everything in moderation. But uh, that is very, very moderate when it comes to sugar consumption. But boy, does that little bit of sugar in there mm, make that yummy.